What's going on my dudes, One Step here with the ultimate guide to Mataro as a cameo in Mortal Kombat 1, giving you some tips, tricks, and strategies, and of course some best character recommendations to pair him up with. Mataro. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's go ahead and jump right into it. Mataro, though big as a character as he is, he offers a ton of tools as a cameo. The first one is a great mobility tool, which is your teleport as a standard cameo move. And that is so good, especially for characters that don't have a lot of good mobility. You can just teleport and then get right in their face. Your back cameo move is gonna be this reflect that you can actually hold and walk forward with it. Because if you don't hold it, Mataro just walks out, reflex, and then leaves. So it's a great tool that if you find yourself being zoned out, you can use it and then walk forward, get towards your opponent, and not the fear about getting zoned out. And by reflect, here's what I mean. Shang Tsung's really trying to zone us out, keeping us away, and here's what we can do. It makes your opponent, first of all, not want to zone you out, and then make them second guess, how can I get in there to my opponent while you're just getting closer and closer to them? So it's a great tool, and a lot of characters have some form of projectile or will use a cameo that has a projectile, and Mataro just says, nope, right back at you, fam. Now your forward cameo and your down cameo are pretty similar, they're both projectiles. And the forward one is a low hitting one. And that is really good, especially for characters that might not have a low option. And you can use it in combos as well. So that way, if you have a combo string that might end in an overhead, for an example, and your opponent blocks the first hit and you think, okay, they're gonna read my overhead, I wanna play it safe. You do the string to end with a low hit and it completely throws them off guard. And not only that, but your forward cameo move, that low projectile also gains armor on wake up. And here's how that might look. And your down cameo is similar enough, but it's actually three projectiles. As you can see, it's a bit slow on startup, but again, it offers you three projectiles. Now, two notes about that. That cameo move uses your entire cameo gauge, so be aware of that. But what's really cool, that goes great with characters that have great mobility because you can move while they're coming out and then get in your opponent's face and have pressure from both sides. So they don't know what to block or what to work with. Do I block the projectiles from Mataro? Do I block my opponent who's in my face now? What do I do? So it's one of the best pressure tools that I can think of because you can just throw it out there and be like, okay, now you gotta deal with that and me. And if those projectiles hit, it's actually a pop-up to continue a combo. Motaro as a cameo offers a ton of tools that a lot of characters can really benefit off of, especially that teleport that gives the character the mobility that they might want to have, such as Rain who has portals but they're kind of slow, Motaro offers that mobility. Same with Reiko that wants to get in your face to command grab you, or even Garrus that might want to get in your face to set up his time combos, or Havoc that just might have a hard time getting in there. Characters that want to stay away and use Motaro's reflex to really say, nope, you don't get to zone me out, are characters like Shang Tsung that want to zone your opponent back out, or maybe use that time to morph into your opponent, Characters like Katana or Rain that maybe want to set up a trap in the meantime. Characters like Johnny that might want to get his hype gauge up. Or Ashra to use that safe space to go from light to dark or dark to light. Characters that don't have a ton of projectile options or might need some. Characters like Johnny Cage really benefit off of that. Characters like Garrus can use it a lot. Or even Sub-Zero because the only projectile you really have is your ice ball. And this just really opens you up for a lot of options. These are just my recommendations guys. Let me know down below what do you think of Mataro as a cameo in Mortal Kombat 1. And who would you pair him up with? Let me know down below. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and take it one step at a time.